All right, so it's a new season of Ready to Love back in Miami. Say what you will, but they're going to run back to Miami <laughs> and try it again, see if we can find some love. Y'all already know what to do. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, request notifications. And share. And we'll see you in the comments. By the way, this is Conversations with the Crawleys. You're probably asking where we've been. We've been on vacation. <laughs> we've been vacationing. Listen, we've been cruising. We've been around here and there. But we're back. And we're ready to get some ready to love news out to you. The cast has recently been announced or uh, put out there. So mm -hmm. we want to just kind of run through. We're going to put their IG, put their, if there's a Twitter, we're going to put their information out there and give you just some initial thoughts, some initial opinions and see what happens this season. And then make sure you're back here in the first Friday or Saturday, whatever, in January, because it's on and popping. All right. And then also be on the lookout. I think this season we're going to try and do some, um, some panels to discuss so if you want to be a part of the panel keep that in mind be on the lookout we'll be putting that information out there so you can be part of the panel to discuss ready love all right so we got on the lady side this time it looks ladies. like we're starting with eight ladies and eight guys down from the normal 10 on each side right so our thoughts are maybe they're going to do some twists again yes maybe some contestants may come in later in the Ready to Love series, Miami. Yeah. So we might need to be on the lookout to see if Tommy's about to switch it up again for us. Yeah, because remember there was that guy who had to leave like day one last right. season because he had a family issue. So Tommy might try to work him back in. We'll see. We'll see. Um, or they might do the whole blind date thing mm -hmm. that they did two seasons ago, three Correct. seasons ago. I hope not. <laughs> you didn't care for the blind I date? No, nah, that was, mm -mm. I didn't like that. What about them just showing up in three or four uh, episodes in? I think I think the challenge with them showing up three to four episodes in, still even like the blind date, is that you don't have enough time to really develop an understanding of who they are, what they're looking for, and even watch the journey, right? That's true. So, so well, maybe they're just going to keep them at eight so we can eliminate them um, and the season might end a little shorter. Yeah, because new candy or, or new players on the field doesn't always mean that it's bare, better players. It just means nope. they're new players. So on the ladies' side, we got Curvaya. And if I'm pronouncing it wrong, we'll hear when she's actually introduced. She's 31, and she's a digital strategist. Um, and she's also an AKA, so we found out her, um, her D9, Divine 9 affiliation. So she's an AKA. And she describes herself as Afro-Latina, and she's a TV digital analyst or strategist. I mean, right now, obviously, nothing's, like, sticking out. All the women I've looked seems beautiful, you know, in their career. Mm -hmm. So I guess we're going to have to really kind of get a hold of her personality, see how she's going to be flowing with other women, yep. along with the men in this season. Yep. Uh, Natasha, who's 37, and she's an attorney. Now, here's the thing, because there's actually her and the other attorney, which is yeah. Sue Ann, who's 39 and an attorney. Um, Our attorneys didn't work out. They have worked out well. So every time we've had an attorney on this show, they came off a little strong. Mm -hmm. um, and and I'm not saying you can, they can have self-confidence, right. right? But it seems like in every... Well, it's been two separate seasons when we've had attorneys that they're not down to earth, right? Now, the, the somewhat exception and that she kind of grew was Simone. So Simone of Rashid and Simone fame, shout out to Ages and Stages podcast. Simone is an attorney, or at least was during her season. I think she still is. Um, and when it started off, there was a lot of questions about whether was. Simone was going to make it through. Was. She, of course, didn't make it to the end, but she still found love and she lasted a lot longer than some of the other attorneys have. So it's just a matter of how, and it's something that we just noticed. It was like these, some of these ladies are saying there's attorneys and like day one, they're gone. Well, I just, again, it's like granted everything you have to go through to be an attorney, just like being a doctor, mm -hmm. it is an achievement, yes, right? Absolutely. And you should. 
yeah, you're going to feel a certain way that I made it. I'm in my career field and it was tough for me to get through. But when you come across where you're, t- you being an attorney is all your, who you, your, is, inter- your interrogation skills right. are coming to the forefront. Cause right. that's really what it was. It was right. A lot of the ladies that were attorneys, they were, they didn't in- know how to take off their attorney hat. Right. They were interrogating the man, like putting them under hot, hot, hot lights and, <laughs> they weren't actually putting them on the like almost, but it was more like they. I didn't see them relax right. and being themselves. It was like they always had their attorney coat on, like the scales of justice mm-hmm. for single men and capturing the right one was their whole goal <laughs> during their part on Ready to Love. So I would like to see, hopefully, that these ladies who are attorneys, they're saying, you know what? I'm being whoever they are. Mm-hmm. And guess what? I also work as an attorney. Yeah. Instead of wearing it like that's all they are. Yeah. So that's so. Natasha and Sue Ann. Those are the two attorneys. Natasha, again, 37. Sue Ann, 39. Uh, Then there's Z, Mm -hmm. who is 34. She's a digital producer. Mm -hmm. Um, Looks like she works for the Gym Shopping Network, Mm -hmm. which is probably like channel 842 on DirecTV. (laughs) I'm just saying. (laughs) It's a high number. It's it's not one of the channels that you like. Ooh, do y'all got that Gym Shopping Network on here? Well, I'm assuming. But she getting paid. She doing her job. Hey, people buying gyms, right? You know, the number comes up. This is going to be $400, $400, and you can make 10 payments of twenty nine ninety five or yeah. something. All right. Then you got Morgan, who is 38. She is an interior designer. Mm-hmm. You got Marcia, who or Marcia. Um, I don't know. It's Marcia or Marcia, uh, who is a fashion designer and a hairstylist. So she's like, I'm going to make money one way or the other. Entrepreneur. Hey. Um, and then Jeffrey, who is an executive assistant. She's 32. Now, in the trailer, there's a scene where one of the ladies is saying, many of us are here for love, but Jeffrey here for telling lies. Now, first time I watched it, I was like, oh, she going off on a brother named Jeffrey. No, she talking about Jeffrey, the woman. (laughs) So evidently there's already some beef that we see or we can see from the trailer between some of the ladies and Jeffrey. So is Jeffrey the new uh, uh, Sharice? Hmm. We'll see. We'll see because all the ladies are in their 30s. I don't see anyone anyone beyond. Yeah. They're, that's the other thing. That's interesting. So mm-hmm. this season, all the ladies are in their 30s. There are no ladies that are 40 or above. No. no. Not the interesting. Around. All right. On the guy side. So we got Andre, who is 39. And then we got Dre, who is 39 also. So Andre, who is 39 and the entrepreneur, you'll see him here. Um, he may or may not have had uh, ownership in a cannabis industry hmm. business. Okay. Just my digging, as far as what I could see, it looks like he might, because he says he's an entrepreneur. Okay. His name comes up attached to cannabis company in the Florida area. So okay. not saying 100% sure, but that's what it seems like. Then you got the other Dre, who is a radio producer, DJ, uh, and he's got an album out. Okay. So maybe he'll give us some love songs this season. I don't think so. <laughs> well, all the other people who have sung, some of them have performed a song on Ready to Love at some part in the season. So we'll see, we'll see. How, how, how he incorporates his life into this coming season. So then you got Lyndon who is 33. He's a bar manager um, and he's also a musician. So I guess in Miami, Miami is the new Atlanta, new what LA where everybody's a musician or an actor. Hey, or in some type of production, video, TV production. So Lyndon is the one who, one of the other guys, Tony is like, how's it feel knowing I'm gonna kiss Morgan five times and you going home, you ain't kissed her yet. Oh yeah, that's that scene. So Lyndon is the guy who's sitting there like, uva, 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 uva. All right. Um, Blue is 40 and he's a lounge owner. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Demario, he's 37 and he is an accountant. He's also a Kappa Mm -hmm. and he's an author. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, Anthony is a nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. Tony, who's 42, is a tax director. Okay. And that's the one who, he coming off with that, that energy that's like, I'm kind of trying to control things. Oh. We'll see if he does. Okay. But at least we see that there's going to be, it looks like he's the, the driver of some of the conflict on the guy side. Okay. Um, and then lastly, there is Blake, who is 44, corporate security officer, and just started Instagram like a day after the cast was announced. <laughs> Hey, like, <laughs> you got some late bloomers to Instagram because, you know, some people, again, they just don't use it. I get it. You know, if they got so much going on and being on social media is just not their place. How I just want to know how he get meet his women, you know, since Instagram is the new playground so, for meeting. I just know when singles. I was looking and trying to figure out who's who I was searching for Blake. I finally got to find his page. and It was like one post. <laughs> I was like, dude, hey. you didn't even do any any pre gaming before. No, nope. he just he just he got the call hey. and decided to put that Instagram on as quick as he can. Yep, because he knows about to be on and popping. So that's it. Again, we got the pictures up. You'll see who they are. Let us know your thoughts on if you know if who you are feeling, who you think is going to go far. Again, it's just based right now off of looks and vibe. I get it. Um, I if if there is a person sent home the first night, just predictions based upon kind of just what I get and what I sense. Um, I think Dre, the radio personality DJ, or Anthony, who is the nurse practitioner, those two strike me as possibly really possibly really okay one of the first ones to go home. Okay, not sure if that's it again because. We only got eight on each side. so Right. So they may not eliminate. And that's the thing we've been talking about before, that they shouldn't automatically eliminate on the right. first night. Right. So maybe this season. Maybe, Tommy. Tommy, you watching. I see you. <laughs> I see you. You made a decision to hold off and allow them to stay on a yep. couple more episodes. So. All right. Well, that's it. But look, make sure you stay locked in. Make sure you are, are subscribing, getting those notifications. Because you want to be here for every recap that we do on Ready to Love this season. It's going to be a ride, and we're here for it. We'll see you next time. Have a great one. Be blessed. Bye.